Hey kids, how are you doing this day? This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. As always, I am so excited that you're turning, tuning into Children's Ministry. I know that you'll be blessed again as always as God gives us his word, his leadership, his guidance for our lives and that he's leading us. And so get your Bibles, get everything that you have your Bible on. And we're going to get into the word of God for this day. And as I pray, Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. Father, we know that your word goes out with power and that it will not return unto you void, but it shall accomplish those things which you sent it to do. Father, we thank you as we learn from you this day. Your Holy Spirit lead guides and direct us, gives us revelation of truth through your word on today, Father. And we pray, God, as we apply your word to our lives, oh God, that we do everything pleasing in your sight. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, faith kids, let's get started with the word on today. Again, we've been studying in the book of James. And I know on last week, I hope you're excited about the word on becoming wise and being wise and have the wisdom of God. That wisdom that is what? Pure, that's sincere, is not fake. So today we're going to be talking about be submissive. Be submissive, fake kids. And I'm like, okay, what does that mean? Be submissive. I know I have to be submissive as you submit to your parents. You, you know, you're listening, you're doing what they're telling you and asking you to do. So we're going to talk about being submissive. So we're going to just look at what does being submissive mean. Of course, it's yielding to authority. It is being humble. That's being submissive, that you're being humble. And actually, submissive and humble are two interchangeable words. And like, if we look at the definition of humble, of course, humble is submissive. It is not proud. And it is not showing superiority, meaning uh, you're not saying, oh, I'm better than you. That's, that's being humble. It's not doing that. You're not trying to act, tell others that, you know, oh, you're less than me or I'm better than you or, or things like that. That is not humility. That is not humble. So humble is not being proud. It is being submissive and, and submissive is, is yielding to authority. So as you yield to authority, your parents, your teachers, those who have authority over you, you're submitting and being humble unto them. But we're going to talk about submitting and being humble to God because that's what we're supposed to be doing, being submissive and being humble to God. And so as we look at it and being submissive and humble to God, we know that as we're being submissive, we are allowing God to lead us, to guide us, and to, to direct us. And it's not boasting or bragging in our ability and what we can do, but it is in what he can do, what he's doing through us. And we're allowing God to use our gifts and talents and our abilities to bring honor and glory to him. And who has given you those gifts and those talents and those abilities? God has. So he's given us these things, but we also, we submit those things unto him, knowing that he's able to use those things that he's placed in us to bring him honor and glory, to bless him, him to lift, bring his kingdom, right? So that's what we're going to talk about in being submissive and being humble. So as we go in the scriptures to James chapter 4, we're going to read in verse number six. Are you there in James chapter four? We're going to read verse six, just like the bottom part of that. Just the second half of verse number six, it says, as the scripture says, God opposes the, pro the, the proud, but favors the humble. His, in the K King James, it says he resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. So he, he doesn't like you being proud or doesn't like us being proud. So it says he resists the proud, but he gives his grace to the humble or he gives his favor to those who are humble. So we're talking about being submissive, submitting unto God, being humble is the same. So he says that we are to be humble. He gives his favor upon those who are humble. All right. So let's continue to read. In verse seven, it says, so humble yourselves before God, resist the devil and he will flee 
from you. And that is actually your memory verse for this week, faith kids. James chapter four and verse seven. Let's read that again. In the King James version, it says, therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So you see how those two words are interchangeable, submission and humble. It says in King James, we're to submit to God. And then it says in uh, New Living that we're to be humble before God. So you're submitting and being humble before God. And then it tells us that when we do that, that we can resist the devil and he will flee from us. Isn't that awesome? So, but let's talk about that being humble and submitting unto God, because that's what we're supposed to be doing. And that's what Jesus did. Jesus was God himself here on this earth. But when he came here, he left all of his, his deity and he became as us, became man as us. And what did he do? He humbled himself to God. He humbled himself all throughout the scripture. He talks about, it's not me. It, I only do what God says do. I only do what the father tells me to do. I only say what the father tells me to say. And that's what we're doing when we're being humble and we're submitting unto God, faith kids, we're doing what he tells us to do. We're doing what he says for us to do. Jesus did it. How much more we have to do it. We have to be humble. We have to put off ourselves and and be humble. And he goes on to say that, you know, Jesus did the same thing. Even when he was going to the cross, what did he say? Not my will, but thy will be done. And that's how we're to live our lives, faith kids. We're to do God's will, not our will, God's will. And once we do that, that we're humbling ourselves before him. And how can we humble ourselves before him? How can we submit to him? First, by what? Praising him and worshiping him. The scripture tells us that he inhabits the praises of his people. So when we're praising him and worshiping him, we're humbling ourselves. We're submitting ourselves to him because we're telling him you're a great God. You're a loving God. You're a merciful God. You love us. We're thanking him that he loves us. So we're submitting unto him. We're being humble unto him. And then when we read his word, faith kids, that's why we have our memory verse so you can study and he speaks to you revealing himself through his word. So as we read his word, he, it reveals to us who he is. It reveals to us his plan, his purpose that he has for our lives and what he has and wants us to do. So doing that is submitting, is humbling ourselves before God. What was it again? When we praising and worshiping, when we're reading and studying and meditating upon his word. And then also when we're praying, when we're talking to God, we're submitting our will unto him because we're not only just going to him to ask for things like, OK, God, I need this. I want this. I want that. Give me this. Give me that. No, no, no. It's a conversation that we're having with our father. Thank talking to him and he's talking to us. So when we're praying, we're submitting, we're humbling ourselves before him. And that's what we're going to be doing. That's what we're supposed to be doing, submitting ourselves unto God. And then it tells us further on, as we continue to read in the scripture, it says, come close to God and God will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, purify your hearts, for your loyalty is divided for, between God and the world. It's saying that we are not to be wanting to be on God's side and the world's side. You know, the scripture says what we do, we choose life and death, right? In the power of our tongue. We talked about that on last week about, you know, the taming that tongue. So we can't be here on God's side and want, want the same things that the world says, right? No, we have to be on God. It says you're divided. We cannot be divided because the scripture says a house divided will fall. So we can't be worldly and want everything the world. The world says this. The world does it this way. The world says this. And then we're like, okay, today, God, I'm like, your will. No, we have to be on God's side constantly. We have to submit. We have to humble ourselves before him, faith kids. We have to do things his way. And guess what? He rewards us. If we read on in the scriptures, let's drop down to verse number 10. It says, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will do what they get. It says he will lift you up in honor. He says he'll exalt you. Pastor Stan has given us a word this for this year that God has given him for us 
that he says that he is going to elevate us this year. That means you too, fake kids. You are God's children and he has the same word for you. He wants to elevate you. Not you elevate yourself, not you doing great things on your own. No, once we submit to him, humble ourselves before him, he says, then he will exalt you. He will lift you up. He will give you those things that you're desiring, give you your things that you're seeking after. He will make you who he has already called you to be. Once we line ourselves up with his will and his plan and his purpose, for your life, fake kids. Once you're doing what he says to do, all of those things that you think you want, that you desire even more so than you can even think or ask, he will give it to you. He's going to take you up and up and up, higher and higher in your studies, in your grade, in your lesson. You'll be able to work problems and be like, I don't know how I know how to do this. I was just like, it just came to me. Yeah, because you have that wisdom of God. You humble yourself before him and you, he's able to pour into you, give you that wisdom and, and insight into things that you didn't even know and give you how, oh, I know how to do this. How did you know? Your friends be like, how do you get that answer? I don't know. I know God just helped me out. You can tell them. The Holy Spirit has helped me and given me what and leading me. I got the answer. And that's what God says. When we're humbling before him, we're submitting our will to him. We're doing what he says do. You know, because a lot of times we want to do it our way, right? No. If we do it God's way, it's even better. It's, he says he's going to exalt us upon high. He will lift you up, lift us up, fake kids, and we don't have to do it ourselves. And then guess what? When he does that, all we have to do is say, it was God who did this. It wasn't me. It wasn't my great ability. It wasn't my super talents, my extremely voice that I have, or my ability to think. No, it was because the God in me has enabled me to do this, enabled me, and he has what? Done what for us? Lifted us up above. He will lift you up above, fake kids. You have to be humble. Submit yourself unto God. He will exalt you. So fake kids, I hope you understand. Have a great week this week. Continue to meditate upon your memory verse this week, James chapter four and verse seven, that you're to humble yourself Submit yourself before God. Resist the devil. How do we resist the devil, fake kids? We don't let him bring anything into us. When he says you can't do something, you say, I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. That's resisting the devil. When you feel like you want to call fake kids, <coughs> I think I maybe have symptoms. No, no, no. You say, I am healed. Jesus has already bore all of my sickness and disease. That's how we resist the devil. We use the word of God and we say what God says. That's resisting the enemy. So submit unto God, resist the devil, and he will flee. And in return, God will exalt you, fake kids. So have a blessed week. I will see you again on next week. Bye-bye.